Spring football practice begins Monday, May 2nd through Tuesday, May 24th, or May 2nd uh, through Tuesday, May 24th from 315 to 545. In order to participate, you must have a current medical physical form on file with Mr. Smith. If you play on the team this school year, Ms. Smith will have your physical form on file. For those who need a physical, please pick up a physical form for the doctor to complete from Coach Billings in room HD5 or Coach Lassiter in the boys' PE office. Once completed, make a copy and turn it into Mr. Smith. Urgent Care has dropped in physicals for approximately $35. Contact Coach Billings, Coach Lassiter, or Mr. Smith for questions and concerns. English is hosting review sessions for the AP Lang exam, so if you're signed up to take the test on Tuesday, May 10th, join Mr. Posh and Ms. Lobby for after-school review sessions next week to get ready. You can show up for whichever day or days you think would be the most helpful to you. Tuesday, May 3rd, we're reviewing rhetorical analysis, and on Wednesday, May 4th, we'll be reviewing synthesis. On Thursday, May 5th, we're reviewing argument. Hope to see you there. As April comes to an end, Cinco de Mayo approaches. Let's check out some more information about the upcoming holiday. Hey Wolfpack, I'm Myra. I'm Jasmine. And we're here to give you some fun facts about Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is Spanish for the day of May 5th. Contrary to popular belief, Cinco de Mayo is actually not Mexico's Independence Day. It's actually the anniversary of Mexico's army's victory against the French Empire in the Battle of Puebla of 1862 in the French-Mexican War. Cinco de Mayo is only really celebrated in the state of Puebla. The rest of Mexico just used Cinco de Mayo as any other work day since it's not their official Independence Day. Americans started celebrating Cinco de Mayo when the Chicano movement started raising awareness to the holiday in the 60s. Since then, Americans used this holiday to commemorate Mexican culture and heritage. In honor of Cinco de Mayo, Lita has decided to make a spear week to honor those soldiers who fought in the French-Mexican War. The week will start out with Luna Lunas. Come to school in your PJs like the moon fell out. Then there's Meme Matus. Come to school dressed up as your favorite meme or vine. Then it'll be Mesca Miércoles. Come to school in your wackiest or mismatched clothes. Then there's Herencia Cultural Jueves. Come to school in any attire from or that represents your culture. The final day would be Vaquero Viernes. Come to school as a cowboy or cowgirl. We hope to see you dressed up. Bye! Are you interested in a career working with Amazon? A job recruiter from Amazon will be in the Career Center during both lunches tomorrow to talk to those interested in searching for a job or working with Amazon. Eric, did you hear that we're finally having an off-school dance? I heard. Our spring formal was taking place on May 7th from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets cost $15 with ASB and $20 if you don't have an ASB sticker. The dress attire is semi-formal. Think homecoming. Snacks will be available for purchase. Lead is holding a spear week next week. On Monday, wear your favorite pajamas. On Tuesday, dress up as your favorite vine or meme. Wednesday, wear your wackiest and most mixed-matched clothes. On Thursday, wear attire that represents your culture. And finally, Friday, dress up as a cowboy or a cowgirl. Attention seniors, high school is coming to an end as a way to remember our experience. There's currently a senior class video being made to show, be shown at the end of the senior sunset. If you or your friends want to be featured in the senior video, take a picture of the screen and scan the QR code shown to enter your videos in a shared Google Drive. Please make sure to only share school appropriate videos. Today is Friday, so you know what that means. It's time to pass it on over to Gabby and Paula for POP. What's poppin' Wolfpack? I'm Paula Sabula. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. And this is POP, where you pop in and show you posts of the past. Now let's take a look at a post from our Cinderella cast. Good luck on your final shows tomorrow. Next, we have a post from our boys golf team. Good job on the season, guys. Now for this week's Wolf of the Week, let's check in with Wolfpack TV's very own Isabel Herman. Hi, I'm Isabel Herman, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. On campus, I am part of our ASB class. I'm the ASB treasurer, which means I have leadership class, like third period, and I help with planning all our dances and our rallies. And then as treasurer, I help with all the financial stuff. And then also, big surprise, I'm an anchor on Wolfpack TV. I know, crazy, right? I bet you would have never guessed that. My favorite memory at CO is definitely gonna be sophomore year when we were building 
building our float, we used to have a homecoming parade right before homecoming, and I know some of you don't know about that because we didn't do it this year, but my sophomore year, we were in charge of building an ACDC float, and then me and my friends had to perform a skit on the float while it was like kind of going, and our skit was like a singing battle, and it was really funny because they had like inflatable guitars and rock instruments, so that was definitely my favorite memory here. My favorite teacher here at CEO is definitely Miss Henderson. I love her attitude and I really do love the leadership class in the ASP community and she's just great, so I love Miss Henderson. After graduation, I just committed to Cal Poly, so I'm going there to study journalism, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Wolfpack TV kind of inspired me to go the journalism route, so I hope that that all works out for me. And then after that, I'm planning on um, getting some type of professional work done and then applying to the FBI because my dream is to be an FBI agent. So that's kind of the direction I'm going in. My advice to freshmen, join all the clubs and register for all the classes that you're interested in because being more involved on campus really makes your high school experience that much better. Um, I just have so many good memories at CO because I was a part of so many different groups and sports and just everything. So join clubs, join sports, um, join Wolfpack TV, we need you here, so yeah. See y'all on campus. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear about the guy who got his whole left side cut off? No. Don't worry, he's all right now. Mic Hi. drop. Okay. Thanks guys. Thanks, Isabel. Good luck with the rest of the year. If you want to be featured on next Friday's show, make sure to use the hashtag SweetJess BullyPTV. Wolfpack, thanks for popping in with us. Back to the anchors. Thanks, girls. Wow, that wolf of the week looks oddly familiar. There's been some recent updates to COVID clinics due to the decreased demand of testing. The following eGUSD testing sites are closed, and new hours for open clinics will be from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Don't forget to come and see Wolfpack Performing Arts Cinderella this weekend. There will be a show at 7 as well as tomorrow at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are available at cohs.ludus.com. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Eric Williams. And I'm Isabel Herman. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Hairball Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.